to this Riello UPS user guide for the Master Plus display panel. The aim of this video is to demonstrate how to navigate through the various user menu options available and enable you to determine your UPS settings and the current and historical operational status, including all AC and DC voltage, current and power parameters. This is the UPS status screen and main menu. This screen is displayed when the UPS is first switched on or if button 1 is pressed from any next level screen. The line diagram on this screen indicates the voltage path through the UPS and shows the operational status of the various switches and power stages within the UPS. In this example, the UPS is online with the maintenance bypass switch open. The bypass supply switch closed and the UPS static switch operational, but not supplying an output. The rectifier input switch is closed and the rectifier is seen to be providing a DC output. The inverter is operating and is providing an AC voltage to the output switch, which is closed. The battery switch is also closed, indicating that the batteries are being charged. The main screen also displays the current operational status of the UPS, as well as the UPS rating, the current applied load and the current charge status of the connected batteries. The status of the audible alarm can also be seen. From the main screen, press button 1 to view the UPS menu screen. By selecting buttons 1 to 8, you can access screens relevant to the UPS history, configuration and current status. Pressing button 1 again will enable you to select which language you would prefer and pressing button 7 will reveal further language options. From this screen, press button 8 to return to the main status screen. From the main screen, press button 2 to display the current UPS input parameters. You will see the rectifier input voltage displayed as a percentage of the nominal voltage the rectifier input current displayed as a percentage of the nominal and the rectifier input frequency. You will also see the bypass input voltage displayed as a phase to neutral voltage and as a phase to phase voltage. The bypass input frequency is also shown. If required, press button 3 to change the display to show the rectifier voltages and currents as a phase to phase value and press button 3 again to display the phase to neutral voltages. You can also press button 1 at any time to return to the previous screen. Press button 2 for a second time and you will see the UPS output parameters. The output voltage will be displayed as a phase to neutral value and a phase to phase value. The output RMS current will be displayed as a percentage of the UPS rating and the output load will be displayed as a percentage of the UPS rating. You will also see the output frequency and the output peak current. Pressing button 2 for a third time will display the UPS battery voltage and the charge or discharge current. A positive battery current symbol indicates that the batteries are discharging, while a negative symbol indicates that the UPS is charging the batteries. The configured inverter output voltage is also shown, as is the boosted DC voltage. The system, rectifier and inverter temperatures are also shown. From the main menu, pressing button 3 will take you to the service menu. If required, press button 5 to take you to the customising menu, where you can enter additional customization codes. From the same service menu, pressing button 2 will activate a manual battery test. Also, from the service menu, pressing button 4 will set the LCD screen backlight to remain on at all times. From the same menu, pressing button 6 will display the code to transfer the UPS to static bypass. And finally, pressing button 7 will display the code to switch the UPS off. Returning to the main menu, pressing button 4 will show the UPS history. The history log comprises of 120 operational events and using buttons 7 and 8 you can navigate through these to see the operational history of the UPS. Pressing button 4 again from the previous menu will provide an overview of the current UPS status. Pressing button 6 from the previous menu will display a summary of the previous 5 history events, which can be navigated through by pressing buttons 1 to 4. 
Pressing button 6 again from the previous menu will provide additional information about the UPS status at the time of the logged event. Finally, pressing button 6 again from the previous menu will display UPS internal codes associated with the logged events. From the main menu, button 5 enables or disables the audible alarm. Pressing button 6 on the main menu will display the current UPS date and time. Pressing button 7 on the main menu will display the firmware version of the UPS microprocessor. Pressing button 7 again from the previous menu will display additional UPS firmware information. This is the UPS display screen with the SWMB closed, which is for the internal maintenance bypass. Here you can see that the maintenance bypass switch is closed and the inverter is disabled. This is the UPS display screen that you will see in the event of a mains failure, or with the rectifier input switch open. In this example, the rectifier is not operating. This is the UPS display screen that you would see if the UPS output switch was opened. This is the UPS display screen with the system off command active. And this is the UPS display screen with the bypass command active. From the main menu, pressing button 2 followed by button 6 will display the UPS operational life data. This will show the total times accumulated for output powered, on bypass and on battery. This screen also shows the total number of battery operations and full battery discharges. From the previous menu, pressing button 6 again will display the UPS serial number. From the main menu, press button 7 followed by button 4 to display the active user options that are currently configured on the UPS. Press button 7 and 8 to scroll through the configured options. From the main menu, press button 2, followed by button 7 to display a summary of all current system AC and DC voltages. The rectifier supply, bypass supply and system output voltages are all shown to phase-to-phase -phase values. From the previous screen, pressing button 1 or 2 will display the above voltages as a phase to neutral value. The output RMS and peak currents are also displayed. From the previous screen, pressing button 1 or 2 again will display the power currently being drawn from the system, the current battery capacity and estimated autonomy and the current system temperature. Finally, from the previous screen, press button 7 to enter the oscilloscope function where you can view the UPS input and output voltage and current waveforms. Thank you for watching and we hope this demonstration video has been helpful. If you require any further information on any of the Riello product range, please visit our website at www.riello-ups.co.uk or contact us via email at service at riello-ups.co.uk.